Sleepless Domain, Chapter 1. Your number one source for magical girls. The top ten up-and-coming magical girls. Exclusive story on Team Alchemical. How does Heartful Punch stay fit? Sorry, sorry, I meant to get here sooner. Don't be. You're the only one here. Is everyone okay? It's pretty close to 10 p.m. They're probably just being lazy. Sorry if some of us have things to do first. I bet you just wanted to be fashionably late or whatever. And did you have to bring a camera guy again? You can't forget about the fans. It's been a while since you got new footage. Just pretend I'm not here. Uh, unless I'm attacked. Then please help me. You know, we used to have strategy meetings before go time. Who needs strategy meetings? We hit things until they die. Only you would be so inelegant about it. What's that supposed to mean? You think I don't know how to be all ladyish and junk? I'm like a damn graceful gazelle. That just leaves Glenn. Yo. When did you get here? Earlier. The Thompson is the rock. The car is falling on 59 well, you heard the lady. Suit up, gals. Alchemical air. Alchemical aether. Alchemical water. Alchemical fire. Alchemical earth. Sylvia. Tessa. Gwen. Undyne. Sally. Team Alchemical. Ready for action, as always. The time is now 10 p.m. Full of citizens to the employees and all magical girls transformed. Here it comes. Be ready for early arrivals. Shots of the switch are always popular. Ah, Gwen, you're in my shot! That's cool. All right, Sylvia, can we get some aerial surveillance? Naturally. How about you, Undyne? Can you do your sensi thing? Sorry, I don't think the humidity is high enough tonight. I I'm sorry, that almost never works. There, there. I spotted a few enemies two blocks north of here. They're near the new vegan sandwich place. There's a vegan sandwich place? Well, anyways, team alchemical? Let's head out. Wait, where's Sally and Gwen? Uh, they ran off as soon as Sylvia said the location. What part of leader do people not kid? They'll steal. I thought Sylvia said a couple monsters. Let's fix that math a bit then. But uh, usually when there's this many, they come with the leader. Now that's what I'm talking about. Sally. Mm. Still cool. Okay, here's the plan. Sylvia and Sally, you handle the smaller guys. Aw, uh, what? Why do the S girls get stuck with the trash mobs? Because you just got owned. And I need Gwen and Undyne to help me restrain the big guy. Are you thinking of her combo power? Yeah, while well, I charge the finishing blast. Shouldn't you let some of us get the finishing blow on occasion? Maybe if I wasn't the strongest one. And also, the Lee. Durr. You guys sure are working hard, but you're all fired. Uh, you only get punny when the camera's around. And you only try hard when the camera's around. So we'll call it even. Bleh. 
Let's just use a coma power on these guys. They're gross. Eh. Fire. Fire Firestorm. Hey. Over here. We found the perfect spot. Tessa? She's already charging up. Right here. Nice. Right? Plenty of fresh dirt. Plus, this should, you know, minimize the property damage. For once. Earth. Water. Fertile, Fertile soil. soil. Bang. Now that's just gratuitous. Looks like they're done at their end. Aw oh, man, I should have followed them for a close-up. Don't forget his agent contacted you, buddy. Eyes on the prize. Whatever, showbiz. Let's go meet up with them. At that time, I really thought things were going okay. We had our problems, but it never felt like we were in any real danger. I'm not sure if I'll ever forgive myself for being so complacent. End of chapter one. Sometimes I wonder if you really need the Great Barrier. Not that anyone asks me, of course. We all know it keeps the monsters out. Well, during the day, anyway. But am I really the only one who cares that we can go outside? Then again, who knows? By this point, we may be the only ones left. When I think about it too much, it feels just a bit lonely. Register today! Registration is easy and 100% free! Awakening to your new powers can be a confusing and frightening time, but we're here to help! By registering with the Board of Magical Girls, you'll have access to numerous resources and a personal counselor to help make your transition a smooth one. FACT! Registered Magical Girls are 70% less likely to experience serious injuries or fatalities. Don't worry! Registration does not require you to participate in the nightly Monster Purge. You can also continue to attend your current school if you so choose. Being a registered magical girl opens up a whole new world of possibilities. Earn extra money while helping to, to defend your family and friends. I'm happy to be registered and you will be too. Alchemical heir of the popular Team Alchemical. Register today and experience the exciting life of a true magical girl. Contact us at vvv-ixviviix or talk to your local recruiter. Ah, uh, did you see today's daylight update? We were like barely in it, and it was all shots of Tessa or Sylvia. But I don't mind, it's always a bit embarrassing. The DU has dwindling viewership anyway. It's all about the Twilight Spotlight. Hmm? Hurtful punch. I saw you on the DU today. Only you could take out that huge goat dog thing all by yourself. Oh, I'm sure you could. All it takes is proper training. Really? Yes. Would you like eventually we move to a more democratic system in CY 127? Hey, can I see your notes from yesterday? I think I missed something. Let me guess. Like, all the notes? Forget it. I can't do everything for you gals, you know? My notes are always available. No way! I ain't paying your extortion fees anymore! Sorry, gotta look out for the bottom line. I let you borrow mine, but you always make fun of my handwriting. I'm not making fun of you so much as I can't actually read it! Gwen's, meanwhile? Today's notes. Magic. I'm disgusted that your grades are better than mine. Mm. Sally, wait up. You look mad. Is something wrong? Nah, it's whatever. I can't do everything for you guys. It's not like it's our fault she got all the best powers. Oh, this is about Tessa? Isn't it always? I don't know about her powers being the best. I think we all have different advantages. I'm glad you think so, since apparently nobody else does. Well, I guess she 
is the leader because she has the most law power. Yeah, not because she earned it or anything. How nice for her. Hmm? Um, not to pry, but did I miss something? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing! Blatantly suspicious. I hate missing out a good drama. Fine. You want drama? I don't think Tessa should be the leader. Oh, this again. We've discussed this before. Tessa makes the most sense, right? I'm still always willing to take on the position, if you're dissatisfied. Like I said, Tessa really makes the most sense. Who says we need a leader at all? I'm perfectly fine hitting monsters without someone telling me when and where. But we rely on Tessa to finish off the powerful ones. Mostly just because she tells us to, though. Exactly! She just uses her flashier powers as an excuse to boss us around. Jealousy? I'm not just jealous. It would be one thing if she was just the strongest, but it's obvious, right? She actually thinks she's more important than us. Yes, I I'm sure she didn't mean. It's fine. I think I'm going to sit out on patrol for a while. Y you don't need to do that. That's it. You're just running away as soon as you get questioned? I'm not running away. I'm giving you a chance to prove yourselves right. Sleepless Domain, Chapter 2. The team. What should we do? The only thing we can do. We handle things ourselves until Tessa's done having a fit. I'll call her manager. This might actually be good PR in a way. I just want to help people. We will. I don't care what happens to us. This is love. Tessa, it's for you. Roger. Hello? Tessa Quinn here. Hey, uh, Tess. It's Sundine. Is this about what happened earlier? Yeah. I just wanted to make sure you really weren't coming tonight. You don't have to listen to them. You know how Sally and Sylvie can be. I appreciate it, but in this case, they might just have a point. Tess. Try not to worry too much. If tonight goes well, I think everyone will feel a bit better. But if you gals have some trouble, then maybe they'll appreciate my position more. It's a win-win, as far as I'm concerned. So I was thinking, maybe we should try adopting catchphrases. No. Ah, uh, you mean like Team Outrageous? They're ridiculous! Think what you want, but Team Outrageous earned 30% more than we did last quarter. Hey, do that thing where you check for bad guys from the sky. I can do that without you telling me to. Sylvia! Report. That guy's uh, in the sky. They look like those creatures from that one outer science class. Snarks. Something like that. They just look like big fish to me. Let's fry them. Fireball! Fireball! Hey, no fair! How am I supposed to get up? I'm sure there's a ladder somewhere. Mm. I wonder how they're doing out there. <laughs> Which result am I hoping for? Grr. I guess it couldn't hurt to go check up on them. One's down. This one's about to be. Combo. Let's serve it up. Earth. Fire! Lava, Lava whatever. whatever. You guys really need a name for that attack. Eh. We'll figure it out sometime. But look at us! We handled them all by ourselves, right? You okay? I just... 
Those guys didn't seem very strong, right? Not compared to us. So what? So why did Sylvia come crashing down at the start? They didn't really seem capable of causing that, you know? <laughs> they better be along the usual patrol route. What's going on? This isn't wind-based. Over there. Where did he come from? Hmm. Did they follow some monsters and end up off course? Eh? That doesn't look like a monster. Maybe a girl's familiar or something? You can't escape me- What? Undyne! Uh, hey, Tess. I'm so sorry. It happened so fast. The others, they're all ready. <laughs> we really blew it. We gotta get a healer here, or... It's a bit late for that. I'm doing my best to hang in here, but... Blood is in pure water. Undyne. Listen to me, Tess. You... You can't give up. You're so much stronger than we were. The city needs you. No. I won't accept it. Any one of you deserves to live more than I do. What? What are you doing? <laughs> I'm not quite sure. They say healing's the hardest form of magic. But if my power's so damn great... And I should at least be able to manage this. Right? On that night, before any of us knew what was happening, our team went from five members to one. End of chapter two. Now that's what I'm talking about. Don't forget this agent contacted you, buddy. Always a surprise. Then again, who knows? By this point, we may be the only ones left. Mm. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure you really weren't coming tonight. Maybe if I wasn't the strongest one, and also the lead, duh.